Hey guys, this is your best friend in programming code Ajit and in this video I'm going to discuss the boolean data type. Now C Sharp has a number of data types which can store all kinds of information and boolean is just one of them but I call it the foundational data type because it is the data type that can store a boolean value that is either true or false or yes and no. So a boolean data type can only be either yes or no. Now if you've heard about binary language, you know that computers understand things only in zeros and ones and that is done through a bit. A single bit is the most basic, most atomic store of information in a computer. It can be set to either zero, which is false, or one, which is true. So a boolean data type is equal to exactly one bit. And we use boolean in code all the time to evaluate expressions, to check whether something is true or not. And based on that, we can take coding decisions about what code to execute, what code to not execute, or what to show to the customer, to the user of the application. So boolean is one of the most foundational data types and let's get acquainted with it in this video. So in my Visual Studio, I'm going to create a console type of project now a console project in Visual Studio is a special project which will not have a web page or a form but just a command line app that you can run. So here we have our bare bones console app. We can run this console app on the command line using the terminal. Let's use the inbuilt Visual Studio terminal to load it. Click on search then in feature search type terminal. And you will see the command terminal view terminal. There is easy, uh, sh there's an easy shortcut to control plus umlaut character. Click on it and the terminal will open up. Now, if you do a directory search, you will see that you've got a file called data type 02 SLN. That's a solution file. And then you've got a folder called data type 02. Now to run this program in the terminal, we have to use the .NET run command. But to run .NET run, we need to be in the folder where you got the project present. So we'll do cd data types 02. And if you do a directory over there, you will see that you've got the file data type 02.csproj. And if you do .NET run over here, .NET will compile this project and run it. So you can see you've got hello world printed over here. That's exactly what we printed in this short program using console.writeline. So console refers to the terminal window right over here and right line will write one complete line that's over here and hello world is actually a string that's passed to the right line function and it's printing this hello world text. Now let's delete this and start taking a look at our data type. So the first data type that we discussed was bool and bool is again something that can store either a true or false value. So let's create a variable of type bool. Let's call it do we rock. Of course, we rock. So let's set it to true. Now, bool do we rock is set to true, and you can then console dot write line check do we rock, print it to the console, and let's see what happens. Let's load the console by pressing Control and umlaut, which is the symbol that you have on the left side of number one. So let's try it. Dot net run again, and do we rock? The answer is true. Like I said, a boolean can have either a true or false value. Now let's also try to assign a false value to this. So again to the same variable, false and let's see what happens this time. Let's attach the screen, there we go. So first time it was true and the second time it was false. Another thing you can do is compare a boolean, whether it's true or false. Actually, that's what booleans are for, comparison. You can compare any expression or value and check if it is true and create your code logic or algorithm based on that. For example, we can check if do we rock is true. To check, we use the double equals to comparison operator. It checks equality between the left side and the right side expression. So we are checking if do we rock equals to true and then if we rock we want to write in console. All right, so let's see what happens this time. If I do dot net run, 
I'll find that I have true and false, but this value is not written at all. So now if we were to change this, let's make it true and let's see what happens now. .NET run. You can see that this time Doobie Rock was true both times and because this was true, this expression was also evaluated. All the content between the if code block, the starting curly braces and the end curly braces, that's one code block. All of these lines were evaluated because this expression is true and we got the text yay vrock on the console. So this is about comparison. Now if we were to reverse it, flip it, let's see what happens. This time Doobie Rock was true both times but because we were looking for false, this is the not equals to operator. And what we're doing here is checking whether Doobie Rock is not equal to true. Now, in this case, it is true. That's why these lines are not evaluated and you get no results. But if we were to slip it back again to false, save it and then do dot and run, this time we will get the text because this time now do we rock is false. In this code, I am first assigning the value true to a variable do we rock. And here we are comparing the variable do we rock to a literal value true. So a literal value is something that is not a variable. We are comparing do we rock to the literal value true and finding out if we should execute this code. You can also compare two boolean variables. Let's try to do that. Let's create another boolean called do we row. And let's set it to false right now. Now if we compare the equality of these two variables, it can have two outcomes. Either they are same or they are not. So that's what we'll see. Console dot right line. Or if they're unequal. Let's try to run this. Right now they are the same. So if we inspect the code do we rock is finally set to false and do we rule is also set to false so they are both equal that's why we are getting the value do we rock is same as do we rule now remember this we are comparing the equality of these two variables they are both set to false but false is equal to false that's why you have the equality true the expression is true and you are getting this but if we were to set one of these variables to true, for instance, like this one, and if you run it again, you will see this time that do we rock is not as same as do we rule. Now one of the variables is false, but the other one is true. So the equality of this expression, do we rock, is it equal to do we rule? No, they are not equal. That's why this is not true. And this time we will get the result do we rock is not as same as do we roll. I hope you understand this concept very well. A boolean value is stored but you can compare either the boolean value or you can put it in an expression and compare the status of the entire expression. I hope the concept of boolean variables is quite clear to you now and you also understand a bit of what you can do with those. Now there is a little bit more you also have other logical operators like or and and which also work on boolean values too and in this video i'm not covering these logical operators in fact i'm going to make a video dedicated to the logical operators all of them and you will find it soon on my channel so if you are learning c sharp and you want to become strong at it you want to learn the fundamentals properly don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my C Sharp series because I will come to you with the most comprehensive C Sharp learning series out there. This is Kodajit, your best friend in programming, signing off.